So I want to do a quick video post for you guys on ASA AnyConnect design. Many of my customers come to me and say, Tim, do we keep our AnyConnect clients terminating to our same perimeter firewall or do we break those out to a separate layer? So here is kind of the typical way. We have our external firewall with VPN services on that firewall. I come from the school where I like to break those layers out. I like to have my perimeter firewall be the perimeter firewall and perimeter rules. And then I like to break out a separate firewall for like an old school VPN concentrator. This gives me an extra layer of control between my VPN clients and the inside of my network. Now there's the typical pushback that there's cost associated. I gotta go out and buy additional boxes. Well, the ASAV is a very inexpensive way that we can deploy this VPN concentrator type service in our environment. Spin it up, put it down to a server, extend our DMZ down into our server layer, and we can offer that same type of service at a lower price point. Some of the use cases for using the ASAV as a VPN concentrator, maybe you have cloud services, AWS, Azure, again, low cost, or maybe I'm a Meraki customer and I use the Meraki MX for my perimeter firewall. You could use the ASAV behind this firewall for your VPN client termination. Or maybe I'm a Firepower FTD customer running code 6.2 or lower. Today, AnyConnect is not supported on the 6.2 or lower code, so we could run an ASAV behind that. So check out some of my following videos. I'll show you how to configure the ASAV as a VPN concentrator, kind of high level, and then I'll show you a few additional use cases.